Hello everyone, this is Eva Christofferson with the Quantum Astrology Report for August the 12th and 13th of 2017. The Sun, the 12th of August, will be at 20 degrees of Leo and the 13th at 21 degrees of Leo. The Moon uh, will be the 12th in mid areas and the 13th in late areas and we have a lot of fire going on. Big purifying, burning and out of the ashes a new me, a new you, a new world will arise. So this is intense times because First, with the Moon in uh, mid areas, the 13th of August, we have this grand square I described last time, four squares in a quadrat quadratic pattern. Uh, and that's intense, it's the Moon in uh, the fiery areas, the quantum I am, the moon is the emo your emotion, our emotional intentions. Uh, it's a square to Venus in Cancer, our love planet Venus with uh, the home for the moon, the Cancer, the nurturing, emotional and also linear. Uh, no, not linear, cosmic lineage. Uh, and then it's a square to Jupiter in Libra, the quantum relationships, and a square to Pluto in Capricorn. So it's intense transformations. And uh, it was a really fantastic, hard, magic, tough night for me. It's a lot of transformation, uh, it's a lot of upgrading, it's a lot happening, releasing, relaxing, just breathing, headache, dizzy, yeah, everything is changing so much. So I apologize if, if I'm not uh, saying totally correct, but I will give it from my heart, the expression, what I perceive in this situa situation right now. And the Sun at 20, 21 degrees of Leo now is very close to the North Node at 24 degrees of Leo. And it's a part of this uh, grand fire trine we have. Uh, and also Uranus is, and the moon is coming up here during the 12th, during the evening here in Europe and the 13th. The moon will be apart in late areas. The 13th, conjuncting Uranus, the moon, our emotions will be a part of that grand fire trine. And Mars is not uh, far away from the sun. And we have the Sun and the North Node, our density in Leo, our heart chakra opening. The pride, the royalty coming up with this solar eclipse in late Leo. And we have Saturn and Black Moon Lilith in Sagittarius, the quantum higher knowledge, the truth. And Saturn is really holding us in this third dimension. Uh, because it's so much fire purifying, burning right now. And Saturn is also named Kronos time. Uh, and it's a balance here because in the ascension we reach for new dimensions, the heart opening, the love, uh, leaving the old. But we need to have it in balance with being here on Earth. So we need Saturn and Capricorn to manifest it here on Earth, to be grounded. We need the Earth signs to ground ourselves. 
and this fire is, is just now it's just like this so I think you can feel it and I recommend highly to sleep a lot drink a lot of water hydrate yourself uh, continue your spiritual path what you do for yourself for your meditation or what you do uh, the spiritual integrity given by Saturn here it's very important and the Jupiter and Libra speaking again and again and again about self-love the quantum relationship with yourself and then with others uh, because we have this situation now with so much fire burning and a in fantastic uh, time for release of what we carry uh, and in quantum astrology and what I believe in this three-dimensional world everything is connected in other dimension past present future there's no time in the fifth dimension that we are ascending into so we need a balance here and it's also this incredible knowledge that we make up our reality from within i do it with my quantum computer mind heart body you do it with your so we have an individual reality that uranus is on on ongoing saying you are what you are you make up your reality and therefore uh, it's very important to see every meeting every triggering situation everything that happens in your life is made up from your soul to experience that it's not coming from outside, it's coming from within. As within, so without. And that's so deep. That's really, every I start working as a teacher, now it's only teachers, it's a college school. Um, but it's many teachers, so it's, it's a lot to integrate. And then the students are coming in one week, then it will be poof, like this. So it's really important to embrace everything that happens and if you need to cut the cords to some people do it but do it with your big heart it's really important to realize that the situation you have uh, happened happened to be in right now is made up for your experience and learning and evolving uh, that's a biggie really a biggie and we also have this star seed activation at the moment that affects me so much because we have venus the quantum love and quantum means the quantum field is everywhere in universe and it's love uh, and it's connecting everywhere instantly the quantum leap and it's so different to this linear time and three dimension that we are used to so it's possible in this time because venus in us op is in opposition opposition with pluto in capricorn and pluto is our soul mission but also a psychic portal and opening so it's a really big opportunity to quantum leap to go into other dimensions to upgrade and it's a big download happening now for the star seeds especially for the serious star seed as i am and the opposite in capricorn the vega star seeds. pluto is at vega venus is at sirius uh, and it's this three-dimensional world symbolized by the patriarchy for the last 8,000 years or something is 
it's cut down, it's um, uh, changed by Pluto in Capricorn. Uh, and that means also that it has been a controlling mechanism, and it is a controlling mechanism from some uh, that are in that way in this love universe. Not all people are light, there are dark ones too. And these people had, had an experiment here on Earth and uh, transmitting fair vibration, holding people down in the small ones. And it's going on today with the media, with television, radio, etc., the news. And it's so important to vibrationally break out of that fear vibration and to stand in your own vibration and to be in your light, your heart, your Leo, your pride, your royalty. Yeah. And it's a lot of new information coming in now, new upgrade of our DNA, of the informational fields for Earth. And it's happening now, both in the quantum now, but also in the now of the Saturn reality in the three-dimensional now. It's a great period between this partial lunar eclipse and then the big American uh, solar eclipse, the 21st of August in late Leo with the royal star Regulus, and then there will be a full moon in Pisces exactly conjuncting the quantum spirit Neptunus and Pisces is also the quantum spirit. A full moon with the sun in Virgo that we had so much when the nodes were going on the last year 2015-2016 the purifying period that you know so well. So now it's a final, no not final, it will never be final but it's a really important release of the last parts of us and Mercury is the 13th going retrograde uh, giving us us to see with our mind our emotions and I think why so many people fear Mercury retrograde is because if you are stuck in the three-dimensional mind setting that so many are also on the spiritual path then Mercury retrograde will change it to go within to check your emotions and here it's a great time to purify your mind it's coming up it's already started the pre shadow period and the shadow period but here it starts the 13th of august the mercury retrograde in virgo giving this purifying of your mind and the full moon will be very close to this degrees here. I want to end this today with uh, the degree for the sun today, the 20th of Leo, 20 degrees of Leo, uh, the 12th of August. It's from Inside Degrees, you can search on Google, Inside Degrees by Elias Lonsdale and uh, he has used three different sources, he and, and his wife to download this information and it's from Dane Rudyard. Uh, he is a very good evolutionary astrologer. Dane Rudyard's Sabian Symbols. He has a great interpretation and it's also inside degrees from um, Mark Edmund Jones Sabian Symbols and uh, John Sandbach San Chandra Symbols and the, the first part is the Chandra uh, symbol today and it's for the 20 degrees of Leo today, a black pearl hidden in an oyster. Working very hard to find again what is lost, to get at what is conceptually missing. It takes tremendous inner forces to restore the pearl. But most of all, you must vanquish your pride and acknowledge from the core of your being that going through this world 
without your deep soul in contact is hell. If you seek, you shall find. If you ache, you shall come to restored wholeness. But not without the suffering, the grief and the facing of the void, initiation, initiations in the depths. It's a super, superb path if you have the courage and stamina for it. But midstream, it is cauterizing, corrosive, and deadly. Appearances are deceptive. Nothing is as it might seem for a while. What matters supremely is guts and integrity. Wow, wow, wow. You can read that on your own. And, uh, yeah. It's not easy, this path that we have chosen. It's extremely challenging to go into this big ascension, downloading this new information, because all the old keeps dragging you down. But we have to, I have to go through this, we have to go through, through this, and we are doing it. So take deep care. I love you so much. Thanks for listening. And if you want the starseed reading, you can check the details below. I also give uh, natal progressive draconic uh, astrological quantum astrology readings. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.